You lost again. Bet it up, Daddy. Bet it up. You lost again. Here's the ladder. There's going to be a chair. There's going to be a Singapore cane. And there's going to be damage. Because tonight, the Sandman will take your man Sabu and you, Bill Alfonso, to the extreme. Tell him, big man. You see, Sabu? We've been around the world and back a couple of times. We've done it in Japan. We've done it in Puerto Rico. We've done it in Florida. We've done it before in Buffalo, Philadelphia, L.A., Arkansas, Texarkana. It doesn't matter where it is. It's lions, tigers, and bears, ladders, tables, and chairs. Oh, my. It's not going to be pretty. There's not going to be a lot of wrestling moves in this match. You're not going to see me do a drop kick. You're not going to see me do an arm lock. I might look at a wristwatch. You gotta watch that. Fonzie, by the time we're done, they're gonna be calling you Chachi. <laughs> we might just give you the Malachi crunch tonight, Chachi and Sabu. That's the way it's gonna be tonight. Let's get extreme. Let me please introduce the man who will be unfortunately sitting next to Ivan and Scotty Bitter to do color commentary, Mick. Foley! Now it's time for an extreme reunion. Sabu and the Sandman, and here comes Mick Foley for the main event. He was relieved from his job as a hardcore special guest referee. Now he's going to be at the announce table joining our own hardcore icon, Ivan the Impaler and Scotty Bender. The beer is flowing and the blood is sure to be spilling as the Sandman makes his way to the ring with the Singapore cane held on high. In this match, all things are legal. Chairs, Singapore canes, tables, ladders, you name it, it's going to be extreme. Sandman on his way, a former ECW World Heavyweight Champion against another man who's just as synonymous with ECW, Sabu. Serenading the Sandman on his way to the ring, it's the Ballpark Brawl Street Team with their rendition of Enter Sandman.
Making his third appearance at the ballpark brawl, this is Sabu, the homicidal, genocidal, suicidal madman from Bombay, India, the nephew of the original Sheik. He's led to the ring by his manager, Bill Alfonso, and he's looking to create havoc at the ballpark brawl. I'm just saying, safe to say, you're very familiar with all of these gentlemen in the ring. Very familiar. Looks like the boys are off to a fast start. I got to tell you, I don't usually plead with the wrestlers, but before the match, I pleaded with Sandman. Please, give us the quick entrance tonight. And Sandman said, no way. They get the five-minute, 20-second entrance because the fans at Buffalo deserve the best. Now, Sabu stopping at Sandman, is, who's forward. It's already busted open for those beer can shots he gave himself. Now, think it's Sabu all right into the steel barrier. Guy like Sab, uh, Sandman needs to be woken up. That 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 type of punishment does not harm him. It just serves to rile him up, fire him up, so he can put the best crap, best show on for the crowd. Well, if he was gonna wake up, don't you think he maybe should try buttermilk instead of beer before a match? This match has already left the confines of the squared circle as we are getting ECW chants here from the crowd. I think there may have been a feeling that, you know what, that last match, that three-man did, did it all inside the ring. Now we're going to see Sandman Sabu do it all outside the ring. Now Sandman with that Singapore cane, company to the ring by Todd Gordon, one of the funny fathers of ECW. Oh, and then the cane right across the floor to Sabu. We've now introduced a ladder into the proceedings. I'll be honest. I, oh my, the suplex. Suplexing the table onto the prone body of Sabu, as if the wild man from Bombay had not suffered enough in his career already. Gentlemen, I have to ask you this. Is there any logic, a ladder in an open air baseball stadium or is just logic out the window right now? Well, I heard it announced as a Singapore cane and a chair on a pole. I guess the logic being Sandman's the master of the cane, Sabu the master of the chair. But I didn't see them scale the, scale the ladder to use the weapons. It seems like the weapons were already in play, and it seems as if Sandman knows how to swing a chair as well. And he's pretty good at swinging a chair. Sabu whips him in. Wait a minute. Oh, right into the steel chair goes the face of Sandman. A drop to a hold, full force onto the forehead of the Sandman, and now Sabu laying in some heavy boots. Oh! That Sandman moots all the off that middle rope over the chair onto Sandman. One, two, oh, Sandman. And I gotta say, gentlemen, everything comes around in wrestling. That drop told shades of your old friend, Raven. Well, well I think uh, Raven may have ripped it off from the hardcore legend Mick Foley himself. I believe I instituted that move into ECW, although I may be mistaken, because I certainly have ripped off a lot of moves myself. Well, how everything comes around hardcore homecoming, you were there when it was Raven, Sabu, and Sandman in the triple threat match. It was? I thought it was Funk, Shane Douglas, and Sabu in okay, a triple threat bar wrong. wire. I was wrong, drinking. Oh my goodness, where oh, you there at? Oh, Sandman upside down into that ladder that was <laughs> propped up in the corner. You could see Sandman clutching his right ankle. But Sabu's gonna give him no corner. Oh, leg drop with the chair. There's only so much pain that a case of beer can anesthetize. Sandman really feeling it. I have a feeling the boys want to use the furniture. We're having the table taken right from under us. It's Bill Alfonso whistle guys, blowing I, I think with I'm it. Be all right here. I think you guys are going to go out of the table. I'm going to be all right for the future time being. No, Sandman on that table is now Sabu back into the ring. Oh my God! He just put Sandman through that table. You've got to be kidding me. Broken bat single the right field, Bender. Trust me, as a guy who's been on the receiving end of that type of damage, there's nothing like seeing the sight of Sabu's bodily hurtling towards you, knowing he'll stop at nothing to put you through that table. Using his body as a battering ram, just 
driving Sandman through that table. No, that's right. Mick, you've been in hardcore matches before, right? It reminds me of a rhyme I used in my book, Tales from Escalade, where it said, both picked up young helpless Shane that have proved that they were able. Both the Dudley boys <laughs> slammed. I messed up my own rhyme. But it had something to do with able and table. They picked up young helpless Shane, slammed him through the table. And that book is on sale at fine bookstores right now. Well, right no, there. I don't want to get a cheap plug in here because this is a heck of a match. I know these guys both take pride in what they do. There was a feeling, I think, once in a while that, hey, this, is there going to be a letdown? Are they even going to bother to try to top the last match? Sandman prides himself on being a hardcore icon. Sabu prides himself on being the wildest man in the business. They're not going to let the fans down. They're not going to let them, themselves down. And they're certainly not going to let us down. What kind of emotions does this kind of a match evoke for you, Mick Foley, on the sidelines, being used to being in these types of matches, being crowned the king of the death match, and now you're watching two of your friends involved in a match here at Ballpark Brawl? I, I don't know if I go so far to call Sandman my friend, but I, there's a guy who works hard. I look at it and I say, what the heck was I ever doing in that match? But these guys are going to put their bodies on the line. Oh, Bulldog out of the corner, takes the face of Sabu right into that steel ladder. That's got to be it. Yeah, remember, Sabu was off for almost a year following a back problem and then staph infection, I believe. So is he in ring shape? That's what I want to know. The amazing thing is I saw Sabu several months ago. It looked like he'd never wrestle again. And now, arguably, he's back and better than ever. Sandman, oh, rolling Santon! Right out of the steel lander, driving into the, into the back of Sabu. And the ECW chance ring out here at Duntire Park. And that move is just flat out nuts, folks. And we've got ECW referee Jim Mahone in there. The authority in this match. Ballpark Raw! Ballpark Raw! Ballpark Raw! Now Sandman takes that steel ladder, props it up in the corner, fires away the southpaw, those left hands. Now Sabu fighting back. Those right hands taking Sandman off his feet. I have a feeling we're going to see something we've never seen before. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that into the chair. No, Sabu can find it in every cover. It's going to go. Oh, the Sandman just barely kicking out. Ivan, I'm sorry to intrude on your territory. I know that you're typically the color man here. I'm sorry that the hardcore legend's hogging the microphone. Well, in your case, I'll cut you some slack, Mick. A little bit of slack. We, we had three microphones to start with. Now we're down to two, and I'm sure as hell not giving up mine for the likes of you. I don't blame you. The wrestling fans in Western New York would probably thank you for taking a mic from me. But that's I think we got to take our hats off, if indeed we were wearing them, to promoter Chris Hill for putting on this tremendous show. Oh, his eagles are already swollen. Don't do that, Mick. And now Sabu to the top moment. Sandman catches him before he can inflict any more damage onto the Sandman. Now Sandman with that back elbow. Sandman still not able to take Sabu up that top rope now. To the top. Looks out to the crowd. Little hip gyration. Yeah. Oh, Karada. I could do without the sexual undertones there to tell you the truth. But no denying, that's a tremendous athletic feat. Fonzie's oh, in the ring. Fonzie's oh, for crying ring. out loud, Fonzie. Oh, Todd Gordon coming to help hey, the Sandman. Shades of the ECW arena, take him out, Todd. You got a five count to get out of my ring, or else I'm going to kick your ass. A five count. Now Fonzie in. He is a referee, Scotty. He can do that. He's a referee. But not for this match. Once a referee, always a referee. Three. Four. Fonzie laying down the count on Gordon. He's not going anywhere. Oh, and then he kicks him right in the nether region. Oh, that a close Oh, my line. goodness. An ass kicking was not to be had. Gordon choosing to kick at another part of the anatomy. Hey, man. I say it's time we give Chachi the Malachi Crush. A Malachi and you have Crunch. Fan, these fans out there know the Malachi Crunch. Gordon calling for the Malachi Crunch. Derby. Oh, oh. they give him a Malachi Crunch. <laughs> I can't believe you actually watched Happy Days, Bender. I believe. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sabu throwing the chair right into the face of.
An unsuspecting statement. At one point, I believe, a maneuver used in an automobile. But this time, using informational skills, Todd Gordon and the Sandman have crunched. Nick, did Dominic DiNucci ever teach you any of this in wrestling school? This was not part of our curriculum. This is ad lib. This is a take it to the next level. Oh! oh Sabu misses! Going for that leg drop with the chair. It's Sandman rolls off the table, and Sabu right through the table in the middle of the ring. The Arabian face buster, he had the right idea. There was well, furniture he's... strewn throughout the ring. Bodies strewn throughout the ring. It's a car wreck out there, Mick. Oh, this is with a cane. Sabu's got the cane. Oh, oh my goodness. Down goes Bob. Jim Mullen, wait a minute. Busted leg sweep with the cane. Mick Foley said there he makes the count. It's wait a over. minute. Wait it's a minute. Can over. he do that? Can he do that? Is he a legal rep? Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Holy shit. Hey. 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 You know. You know. I was just a little bit hungover when I got off the plane here earlier today. I was up all night. Hey, you know, it's been a lot of years since I've been in this town. But I'll tell you what, when I came through that curtain, God damn if it didn't sound like Buffalo to me. Hey. Hey, don't you guys go nowhere. Stay here. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm still drunk. Yeah. Well, I'll put it this way. Todster, it looks like you're driving the rental car back to the hotel. Hey. It won't be the first time. Hi. Hey. Oh man. Oh my God, my ribs hurt. Uh. Hey, hey, you know what? You guys just gave me a hell of an idea. Listen, I've warred with this man all over the planet. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here. I don't think you should leave this ring without drinking a beer. Sabu with a beer. Chug. Is it chug. 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 Sabu chugging a beer right before hey, our very hey, eyes. You know what? Sabu. In all honesty. Thank you. Show respect by two hey. ECW oh. alumni. Yeah. I, I kind of made that decision that Sabu's going to drink a beer. Now I'm going to let you people make a decision. Should this ass of Fonzie, Chachi, Pinky Tuscadero, <laughs> should she be allowed to drink a beer? That's right, that's right. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, gonna chug a beer, chug, there he goes. <laughs> now, now, for the cheapest pop ever in the business, Mick Foley says he loves Buffalo. Now, if Mick Foley was in Cleveland, you think he would say he hated Cleveland? <laughs> now, do you really think Mick Foley loves Buffalo? Yeah. Oh, that, well, that was a little 50-50 now. Do you really think Mick Foley loves Buffalo?
loves Buffalo. Drink that beer. 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 Listen, I uh, I'd like to drink a beer with you, Sam. Man, I really would, but uh. Man, I got a lot of action figures on the market. I got a sock. I'm trying to appeal to the kids, so. Oh, no, no, no. I'll drink, I'll drink the damn thing, okay? Ready? Drink that beer. Drink that beer. Drink that beer. Drink Helmet that Foley. beer. Helmet Drink that beer. His turn for an adult beverage. Budweiser, my favorite, Ivan. And like he said, chug, what a fine chug, example chug, we're chug, setting for chug, the youth of chug, America, Chug, Bender. Chug, What are you, Joni? What, Chachi and Joni? Oh, and now Sandman jumping the beer into the mouth of Mick Foley. I've seen this at a couple Fred parties in my time, but never in a wrestling event, Ivan. Well, he sure as hell didn't learn anything at Cortland State. He must have drank his way through. Ivan, what a ballpark brawl five we witnessed here tonight at Doug Tire Park. A hey. new national heavyweight hey. champion. And last Charlie but not Hodge. least. This was a challenge to Harry Smith. You've seen Sabu out here tonight. You've seen Fonzie. You've seen me. You've seen Foley. The only damn reason that we're here and you're cheering for us is because of this man right here. This man, this man is truly the godfather of wrestling. Now, 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 I know he'd much rather have a bottle of Grey Goose, and he'd like to say the goose is loose, but Todd Sturt, you're going to have to drink that beer. Now, Todd Gordon, the party father of ECW, now he's chugging. I'm surprised he got any better. I've never known you know, Al Sam, man, play any part in wrestling. I got bad news. You gave away about one too many, but thank God you got a best friend who's always looking out. One last bud. And brother, this bud's for you. <laughs> <laughs>